Um, pull my finger. No, I don't want to pull your finger. Pull my finger. I don't want to pull your finger. <laughs> pull my finger. Fine! <laughs> Hello! Welcome back to... What's Safe Word? I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today... We're talking about... <laughs> farts! <laughs> I've been wanting to do that forever. <laughs> Which is something we couldn't pass up, but we could definitely pass when during. Please don't. I apologize in advance. It's too late. You're welcome. No. Today we're gonna to cover the gastronomical fetish that is fart fetishism. And we're not trying to make this episode stink, so bear with us. Fart fetishes can be classified as olfactophilia, or fetish of smells and odors. And then there's the subset of that olfactophilia called eproctophilia, which has to do specifically with someone's flatulence farts being farted on or being farted in front of. It's a very subset niche, but there's actually a huge community out there and a good number of porns. Have you ever heard of cake farts? No. Sounds yummy. Oh, oh. No? I mean... So this is cake farts. Cake. I like cake. You know what I like the most? No. No, what do you like the most? Cake farts. It's a cake fart. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and while we laugh at that, we're not trying to make fun at people that are into fart fetishes. We are trying to make fun with. And laughter is a very normal response for farting and actually turns some people on because of it. But we'll get to that eventually. And reading up on this fetish, it was interesting to find the multiple accounts of people into this. One such story was a straight male who was interested in females romantically, but was turned on by the farts from both men and women. And while there are a number of studies around this kink, it should be noted that generally it is a very male heavy audience that is into this fetish. There are some women, but similar to feet, it is very male heavy. So why are some people attracted to farting? Well, you can thank your five senses for that. What are the five senses? Smell, taste, hearing, right? Um, breathing? No. Sight. Feel. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Well, the first of those senses is actually sound. The, the sound of farting is just funny. It, it, it evokes an emotion, and that's why people are... <laughs> see, like annoyance. You know, you're trying to say something, but for some people, the distinct sound is incredibly erotic because it might come from someone that you don't expect. Maybe it's wetter or juicier or, or, or gassier and it just evokes an emotion that makes you feel something. Some fetishists even say that they prefer when someone's wearing nylons because it makes an even better sound. So people really get very specific about what they like. That'd be the nylon. So next is the smell. Some people like the dirty, piggy nature of the smell of it. Uh, some even like it, that linger or even the sulfur smell to it. They kind of get off on. And that makes sense. There's a lot of fetishes out there that have to do with like guns or just feeling down and dirty. While not for me, I, I can see why some people find it appealing. Next is the headspace that it can evoke in someone. Now this gives a whole new meaning to blowing someone. It can really put someone in a really submissive headspace when you fart on them. Sure, like being degraded. Also, some people can feel embarrassed or nervous about it. Uh, like, did anyone hear it? It's they, a little voyeuristic. A little of. bit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you haven't heard the first three farts I've done during this episode. I've smelled them, though. Smelt it, you dealt it. That was all you. Not touching can't be mad. Not touching can't be mad. <sighs> what an awful relationship. And for some people, it's just genetic. The bacteria in your gut is unique to you, so some people may be turned on by the smell of your biology. And in the study by Is It Normal, there was actually a poll done, and 65 to 76% of people said that they actually liked their own farts, thought it was normal, like they actually liked it. Have you ever noticed that your own farts don't bother you? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't mind my own farts. I'm, I'm part of that demographic. Sure. But there is actually a reason why we don't like other people's farts. Well, should you actually dislike someone else's fart, which is normal, ASAP Science did a really great video actually explaining why our brain might think that someone else's fart is dangerous and that we actually react that way, we dislike it because of an evolutionary defense mechanism. Like stranger fart danger? Yes. <laughs> Where do you get this shit? 
<laughs> oh my god. I mean, in many ways, love is like a fart. I'm scared to ask why is that. <laughs> because if you have to force it, it might be a shitty relationship. Oh god. Next, as we mentioned, feelings that come from a fart can lead to a fetish. Sex therapist Sarah Berry even stated that farts are generally funny, gross, and or embarrassing. So anything that causes a reaction could lead to the fetish of it. Our final attraction point, plot twist, farts are good for you. A study done in 2014 by the University of Exeter found that hydrogen sulfide, a compound found in farts, actually protects your cells from cancer. And with all that in mind, I figured why not test and see if we're into farts or you're into farts, we're helping you out. We're, we're doing a litmus test. How do you do that? Well, I have downloaded this handy dandy fart soundboard on my phone and I'm gonna play some farts and if you laugh, you lose. It's very simple. Oh no. So this first fart is called Bohemian Fart City. Oh God. Sounds like a gazoo. I told you. I'm not laughing. <laughs> you can't move, too. There was no rules in this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. Oh. I think you might have some sort of secret fetish for this that I've never heard of. Which is okay, we're not fart shaming. If you're into this, it's cool, it's whatever. Now it wouldn't be a what's a safe word episode if we didn't talk about the safety around this fetish. You wanna be better at doing farts? Cause fermentation in your belly. Eat bran, sugar, beans, cabbage, those types of foods, make it happen. Beyond that though, there's really not much around safety for this. There is one myth that keeps kind of circulating online that farting in someone's face causes pink eye, which is just not the case. They've actually done studies around this. They had a scientist that studied people farting on Petri dishes, like literally dropping trowel and just farting on a dish. And they found that people that had some sort of cloth, so if they were wearing underwear and farted on the dish, no bacteria was growing. But if they weren't wearing any clothes at all and they farted just right on that petri dish, they did find bacteria would grow overnight. So, if you're gonna fart on someone, have some clothing on, have some underwear, have some linen that actually acts as a filter to any bacteria that might escape your body. Also, if your partner is sick, they may have some harmful bacteria as well, so just be aware of that. You could easily pass bacteria onto your partner in many different ways around anal and sex, so just be smart. It's such a non-threatening fetish. It's something that you can easily do. You don't even have to be naked for it. In fact, don't be naked if you can because that filters the farts. It's just an easy fetish to get into and it's super easy to talk about. Everyone does it. And like any fetish, do it consensually. If you're farting on someone, make sure they know you're going to do it beforehand and you've talked about it. This is something that your partner gets to do with you. This is not cancer. This is, although it might help fight cancer. This is not a life-threatening, like, fetish. It can be fun. You can have fart wars. <laughs> fart wars. In like Star Wars. <laughs> In a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Fights! So did we forget any part or aspect of this fetish that people might be into? Is, is this something you're into? Leave that in the comments down below. If you like these types of videos, uh, like the like button. <laughs> <laughs> Brain fart. And if you like our videos, please tap the like button down below. And also, there's this little bell thing down there. Apparently, they've changed again how YouTube works and they're not actually sending subscriptions to the subscription box right away. So like, if you want to, you can just like hit that bell. Hit it. Consensually. Ring it. Ah. Fart on it. And we'll see you guys next time. What's the safe word? Bye. Also, do you like my shirt? I'm gagging for it. Thank you. Look at you using drag queen terms. Sent to me by Merrick Richard. They, they sent me this shirt. It was very nice of them. It was not, not sponsored. Here, let me just wipe the sparkles up on you. No, nope. I got my glitter on you. No. Ah. No. no. The worst STDs. Okay, down. Glitter. <laughs>